Okay, back again. Um, right, so I'm going to um, move on to brows now. I bought the Revolution Focus and Fix Eyebrow Sculpting Kit, uh, which was £2.50. Um, I was really impressed with it. It comes with teeny weeny tweezers and um, a little brush, which is great. So amazing if you're travelling. Um, these are perfect. Um, it also comes with, this is the dark um, kit, so it comes with three shades of powder, which you can obviously mix and match, and then a wax which goes over the top. So we'll see, I don't use waxes, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so I'm gonna go with this mid brown here and mix it with a bit of the lighter shade. And again, tap off on the back of my hand because I don't want anything falling out. And I'm going to concentrate on the arch. It's very pigmented, which is great. And I quite like powder because it creates quite a soft um, look rather than being rather than being too harsh. So again, if you're a bit older, um, powder is is the way to go, really. If you need to draw in any major gaps in your eyebrows, though, you're better off using um, a pencil or a gel, just because it will give more of a, a definite um, fill in. I'm just going just into the centre now. Right, okay. So this is my problem eyebrow. Um, Trying desperately to grow the sort of inner part here so it matches the other one. Whenever I get them done, for some reason, they like to whip off the inner part of this brow. Okay. Okay, it's a good colour, nice and soft, and does give good, good definition. Okay, so let's have a look at this wax. I'm just going to use the same brush, so pop it into the wax, which is a clear wax, and then brush through. I think probably, for me, I just find it easier just to use a clear mascara. Um, which you can pick up for about two pounds. But as a kit, and particularly for traveling, or if you do your makeup on the train or the tube, I think um, this is great because it's so portable. And I have to say it is holding my brows nicely. The only thing I'm not sure about this is if it's gonna continue, which I think it will do, um, to look shiny. In certain lights um, that would be my only reservation really but apart from that I'm really impressed with this little kit and what you could do is use it um, use these as eyeshadow contours as well or vice versa if you've got a matte brown eyeshadow you could use that for your eyebrows so okay so there's brows done I think that's done a really good job so yeah, two pound fifty. Can't really go wrong with that revolution. Um, and then mascara, which um, was on three for two. So they're normally nine ninety nine. Max Factor Masterpiece Max. I did buy. This isn't a new one, but I did buy three new ones um, as they were on offer. So they end up being six pounds sixty six each, which I think is pretty pretty impressive. Um, so I'm going to get right to the roots of my lashes. Give them give them a wiggle just to coat the roots. And what that will also do is help blend in that line that I drew with the coal and smudged out with the eyeshadow. So it's just gonna give a bit of a smoky uh, look to the lower part of my lid and help to open my eyes up. So wiggle, 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 and then stroke up to the tip. I'm just going to do one coat. I find the matte sweat to mascara, I mean it is, it's very good so generally speaking I will only use one coat unless I'm going for a particularly lashy look but I always do my lower lashes because it opens the eyes up 
and frames the eyes. Just make sure you get those little hairs on the inner corner as well. Okay. Right. So I bought, um, so this is the MUA um, bronzed perfection. It's a matte bronzer, which you need if you're going to use it for contour. Um, this was four pounds. They did do a bronzer for one pound, which I was tempted by. Um, however, it was quite dark and because I'm so pale, I thought I should really go for the lighter tone. But if you are a little bit darker, um, you know, give the, give the one pound one a go. Um, it's quite large as well, so it's going to last a fair while. So I like to use a large tapered brush for this. So I'm going to swirl it in powdery so I'm just going to shake off the excess and then I'm going to start at my ear here and I'm just going to work down in kind of um, like almost like a Nike tick um, shape just down to towards my the corner of my lip so just under the cheekbone I'm keeping it really light because what you don't want is to suddenly realize that you're looking a bit orange I'm going to take it up just onto my temples and my head and then down onto my jaw. Be careful if you are putting it up here that you don't end up with a line, um, sort of a, an orangey brown line, which I've seen quite a few people end up with. So just kind of sweeping motions from the ear down towards the corner of the mouth. And you just chiselling the jawline and then I just take what's left on the brush just down onto my neck. Okay, right, that's really nice, I think that's fab. Um, okay, so I've got the Bourgeois blusher, I bought Rose Frisson. Um, the other one I really like is Rose Door, but it's quite shimmery, um, so it just depends kind of what sort of blush you like, but um, it's in a lovely little pot um, with, a, with a little curved brush. I mean, Unless you have to, I wouldn't be using these brushes um, because then they're kind of not big enough. But um, again, if you're travelling, they'll, they'll do, certainly. Um, so I'm using the MAC 113 um, Blusher Brush. I dip it in, shake it off, and then apples of the cheeks. Smells nice. Smells, smells like baby powder with a hint of rose. Really, really lovely colour. I think if you're getting married, this kind of um, colour blusher is the perfect one to take with you in your touch-up kit. Um, it's really going to brighten your skin up when you start to sort of feel a bit tired towards the end of the day. Your skin can kind of go a bit grey and um, just a little pop of blusher can really warm it up and make you look alive again. Oh, sorry, that's my phone. Put that on silent. Okay, that's really nice. I haven't got more on this cheek than this one. It's the, um, I've got a window coming in this side, so it does make it look a bit brighter. Um, and then I bought the MUA Undress Your Skin Highlighter, um, which was three pounds again, and I've heard loads of people rave about this. They had this kind of pinky color, um, and they also had more of a sheeny golden tone as well. So I'm going to use my powder brush and swirl it in and then I'm just going to apply it to the tops of the cheekbones up to the temple. So really, I don't like a huge amount of highlight um, like some people do. I like it to be a little bit more subtle. But I think if you wanted to go full on glow with this, if you used a damp beauty blend or damp sponge, or even a damp brush um, and applied this, I think you'd be well away with your glow. So that's really lovely. Really nice, I'm gonna pop a bit. Center of the lips. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna pop a teeny bit under my brows and just the bridge of my nose. I don't like popping any on, this, on the end of my nose, I just think it, just looks a bit too shiny. Um, ah, okay, so lastly lips. So I've got the L'Oreal 
infallible lip liner and this is in the shade Always Toasted which is a really nice um, neutral shade. So this is £5.19 but this again was on 3 for 2 at um, Superdrug and I'm just going to start with Cupid's Bow. Just like to fill it my lips. This is uh, I'd like it to leave a little bit more product, ideally. But the colour is really nice. Okay. And actually the colour would be quite pretty just with a little bit of lip balm. Um my rosy for autograph uh, lip glossy would be really nice with this, but I've also got this, um, which is quite old, but you can still buy it. So it's um, the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate Lipsticks. It's the Kate Moss range. This is in 03. And I'm just gonna, rather than kind of applying it like you would normally with a lipstick, I don't want a really heavy coverage. I just want it patted on. So it's a bit more subtle. And it's a pretty, it's kind of like a pinky nude. So there we go. As a whole, I'm really impressed with that. I think we'll see how it lasts and how it holds. But um love the eyeshadow palette um, and the fact that it comes with the eyeliner and the um the waterline liner as well. Um really love this lipstick and um very very impressed with the with the blusher highlighter and, and the bronzer as well just giving a really nice subtle sheen so i hope that was helpful and um, i will put a list of everything um, that i bought in the comments so if you do want to go and buy it and um, then you can i'd love to hear your comments thanks bye